welcome to my first ever tutorial video. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Kiyomi, or Ki for short, you can, I go by whichever one. Um, today I'm just going to show you a little bit of a basic editing. We're only going to be focusing on the face today. I'm just going to make it short and simple and hopefully you guys will be able to follow along. Later on, I'll um, I'll put the links below of the brushes that I use or like I can just show you guys the QR codes which will be up later and I will give the, the Instagram at of the person who made the brush because their brush is actually extremely helpful. Anyways, enough blabbing and let me just get right into the video. So first you want to make sure that you have like your avatar right here. If you don't have a uh, computer you can always take a screenshot on mobile and then use um, use this website called I think it's called remove background I'll put it in the video somewhere or somewhere <laughs> but um, just go to that you will click upload photo and then after that you'll just it will take you directly to a gallery you'll just put in the screenshot of your avatar maybe a close-up is preferred since screenshots most often uh get blurry and just it'll remove the background for you um moving on so first i have three layers so far i have one for obviously where the hair is going to be and one for the face we're only going to do the face today um i'll get to the hair in part two so just follow along with me so what, what you want to do is you want to click on the layer above and you want to do the clipping. Why do I do the clipping? It's because I don't want to keep erasing where I where the ex excess um, paint goes. So see if I do this, oh wow, wrong color. But let's say I'm just drawing here and it keeps constantly going like that and I have to keep erasing it. If you do the clipping, you won't have to worry about that. So I just like using that. So with the brush that I'm using is called Oil Soft. It's um, a brush that I got from a, another artist called Benji Williams. I'll leave the link below and I'll also put up the QR code. Um, what you want to do is you want to set the opacity level to like I usually go from 20 to like at least 50 it depends on how dark or how much I want the color to pop since we're just doing basic editing you don't want it to be like too much because you just want to enhance your avatar so what you want to do is you want to click on like a dark setting i usually go for shadows before i do um highlights just because it's a lot easier um what you want to do is you just want to add like a couple of shadows where you see fit or however right now i'm doing the contour of the nose just to help the nose pop out just a bit make it look a bit more realistic um also this is literally my first time making a tutorial so if i don't explain something um effectively in this video it, i'll definitely um answer your questions if you guys comment down below in the next video and hopefully it'll be a lot more understanding so you just want to keep adding the uh, shadow. Right here, I'm just gonna turn up the opacity a little bit, just because I want it to like give like that three-dimensional. You don't want it to, to look too, I don't know, cartoonish. Maybe I'm not sure how to explain that one. So just keep mixing and blending. For the blending part, you just want to lower the opacity and you click between like where the sharp parts of the uh, 
the paint so you see how like there's this line right here you want to blend in you click right in the middle of that and it'll give you like a mid color and then you start like brushing it until it's all blended in and you can't tell and if you find yourself like oh why is this still not working just remember that you have an opacity um, changer right here so just click up and down until you see progress with however you're doing Now I'm going to go and find, do like the nostril part. So when you click on the dark color, it's always um, necessary to go a little bit darker because you want it to pop. And if you go like the same shade, it'll, it won't do much to the color. So then you just want to load or make the size, the brush size a little bit smaller. And then just keep doing your thing. And then right here when you see that, I'll lower the opacity a little bit more. And then I'll do like the little blending thing again. And boom. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for like the little uh, crease right here. So I'm going to make my brush size a bit smaller and lower the opacity even more, just so we won't have like this random straight line. It's right there, and it's kind of easier to like manage. And I'm also do this to make the nose a bit more stand out. I don't know the right words, so if I use like weird terminology, I'm sorry. Okay. So then, what you want to do, what I normally do, I like to make some of the nose like a bit darker at the bottom. Because it makes it look like I don't know. It's just something about it that I like. And I like the way it kind of brings your avatar to life. When I do like dark contours and stuff like that. It's just like overall Um, Maybe later on, depending on how my tutorials do, I might end up doing like makeup looks. I'm still learning. So just bear with me for a moment. I'm still trying to get used to YouTube right now since I'm new to like editing and all. And I really want to help people and I've bettered my skills because I'm definitely better than what I used to be. But so now that I've gotten to a point where I feel comfortable explaining like how how I draw in my own style then I think it I don't know <laughs> I just lost my train of thought I'm sorry um once you finish the nose though oh wait there's this random dot right here I'm gonna do that Okay, so now I'm going to try and fix this part right here because it's kind of like triggering me. <laughs> it's just like the random, uh, I don't even know what it's called, eyeliner, like line, sharp line thing. So I'm just going to make this a bit more like skinnier. I'm gonna go back. Eventually, I'm gonna go back and fix this. So 
consider it's not optimal. Oh, yeah, there we go. And then just kind of blend like this all in. And voila! See, she looks better already, somewhat. <laughs> Okay, so here's a lazy trick. Wait, I didn't do this on a different layer. But normally, if I do the eyes on a different layer, I'll just be really lazy because I don't want to, like most times I really don't feel like doing the same thing on the other side. So I would just hit duplicate layer right here. And then I will reverse I'll click this to reverse the uh, position and the uh, direction. Yeah, that's the right word. And I'll just <laughs> stick it on there and call it a day. So here's just a major difference so far, you can tell with the nose. It depends on like, it also depends on what kind of look you're going for. Um, if you guys like you guys can comment down below and tell me what other like makeup looks you guys would want to learn or you know want to see me do then just let me know and i'll try my best to uh play around with it and figure it out um also if you guys i do also um do like a little edit with me thing on instagram so if you guys, uh, I'll leave my Instagram down below. So if you guys ever feel like uh, that YouTube is not helping, then I'll definitely set up a, a live and we can go from there. Therefore, it's not too much editing for me to do. And you kind of get like all your information right then and there. Um, so for this side, I'm just doing the same exact thing did on the other side. Whoops. Then blending it. Voila! It's the way she's looking at it at the camera for me. Say cheese! <laughs> Anyways. Now is I usually like I do sometimes do this little I don't know what it's called. It's like the little crease between like the lips and the nose. It's like that little thingy right there. I, for, I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, I'm not normally I don't do these or sometimes I like forget and then I'll look at the picture later and I'm like um I feel like I'm missing something. And then I'll figure out like probably night. It wouldn't even be that same day. It'll probably be like a week after. I'll be like, oh wait, I forgot to add this. And I have already posted it and everything. I mean, some people don't seem to notice, but I know some people do. Cause you know, you guys always have like that one artist that's like, oh, you forgot this. Um, anyway. So uh, once you add that, then I will go to the lips. I normally don't do lips. <laughs> Sometimes I cheat my way through it, but that we'll get into that another way, another time. But today I'm thinking she should go for like a natural like, shade, I guess. I think I might do like a little soft brown. So I'll just go in with that. The opacity is still um, low.
Okay, so once you have your base colored down, I forgot, I keep forgetting, but I did not separate the layers because right now I'm lazy. So, <laughs> um, anyway, so I will lower the opacity. I'll go a bit darker and then I'll start like lightly brushing my way around. And then I'm still like blending in the process too. What really makes um your what's it called? Your uh part to looks pop out is when you start adding highlights. Because highlights start adding like more dimension and you're just like sometimes things might look flat and then once you add the highlights you're like oh yes like I'm doing something right for once so I would say that if you're in doubt just trust the process because that's one thing I've beat, beat myself up for and I didn't realize what people, people meant until I one day all of a sudden woke up and was like I'm going to change this about my art Once you do that, I'm then going to show you a little trick that sometimes I do when I really don't know what to do for highlights. So I will we'll go here, I'll click import picture, I'll go to images, pins, and I'll just select like a random image right here that you can get off of Pinterest. I'm going to click this part. I'm going to change the direction of it. Still move it over here though. And then what you want to do to get this black square off is you want to click add and voila. There you go. And so then I normally click like mesh so that I can actually add it to the photo. And then you start fixing it from there. And don't worry about how it'll look at the moment because some things do begin wonky. And then if there's like if you see like this random line right here, just erase it. It's a good thing I didn't do the full face yet. That would have been sick. And then if you see like some random like highlight lines that don't look right to you, then click the blur tool and blur them out. And voila, you have your makeup look so far. I lowered down the opacity because I feel like the white was just too bright. Um, as far as like anything else, you can add like some more shadows. You can add some more shadows if you desire so. So like right here, just to make her look a bit more alive And there you have it. Oh, wait, one more thing. Not that's the metal I lied, I'm sorry. Next, you wanna do like add. Then you wanna go to like a lighter shade. 
add like maybe some a few highlights. If you feel like something doesn't seem quite right, then uh, you can always fix it. I don't like that. Keep adding stuff until you feel happy and content with it. Whatever I have for my next video, which would be um, hair, or maybe like something else, I have to actually decide which one it would be. Then I'll come back. But um, seriously, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your post notifications to see when I post and with further ado have a great day Mwah.